What is button twirling? Button twirling is an art involving the manipulation of a metal rod and the performer's body to a coordinated routine. It is similar to rhythmic gymnastic or color guard. Twirling combines dance, agility, coordination, flexibility and often gymnastics while manipulating a single button or multiple buttons. It is a sport that is played worldwide. A performance is typically accompanied by music. When judged, fundamental characteristics include the handling of the baton to create visual images, pictures and patterns executed with dexterity both close in and around the body and the proper release of the baton into the air. The discipline requires the simultaneous blending of these fundamental characteristics, utilizing time and space to display both technical merit and artistic expression. There are multiple types of baton twirlers, majorettes twirl in a group for a high school or college with its marching band. A twirler may perform as part of a group which marches uh, and in a parade or in front of an audience. Competitive twirlers may compete solo or, or as part of a group. Twirlers start learning the skill as early as age 2, but usually in grade uh, school age, although some begin as late as high school age. Button twirling requires specific knowledge of how to manipulate the button and where to hold the button. The button can be described as a rod, usually a lightweight metal such as aluminium, with weighted resilient ends, typically rubber. The button's rubber ends uh, attached to the rod and can be replaced. On one end, there is a large tip that is called the ball, and on the other end, there is a small tip simply called the tip. The button must be balanced at the center, according to Fred Miller in the complete book of button twirling of the year 1978. The rod can be one of several thickness. Thicker, heavier rods are said to be for rolling, while thinner ones are better for finger rolls. The rubber ends can have different designs or weights depending on the manufacturer. Additionally, Starline is the most common manufacturer of buttons. Common types are the star, tulip and simple round tips. The length of the button from tip to tip should be one inch longer than the distance from the user's armpit to the tip of the user's middle finger. The button is manipulated from three positions depending on the trick. From the ball, one hand from the tip and mostly from the center of the button. The rod of the button wrapped with tape uh, either for decoration or for added grip, using tape especially employed for that purpose. The tape can be anything from electrical tape to tennis tape. In addition to twirling buttons, twirlers are, no, are known for manipulating multiple pieces of equipment, including fire buttons, machetes, fire machetes, hoop button, uh, streamer, flag button, swing button, rifle, uh, lighten button, double flag button, and sabers. All equipment that is used by twirlers of the MBTA, USTA and WBTF are show uh, quality pieces of equipment that are engin engineered to be easily manipulated in a twirling routine. Therefore, the rifle, saber and machetes are not real weapons, as they are props created specifically for twirling. However, fire batons are in fact real flaming batons. The twirler will soak the ends of the fire baton overnight in a flammable substance, commonly kerosene, tiki oil or gasoline. After the ends have finished soaking, it is important that the twirler shakes off any excess of liquid. Finally, the ends of the baton can be set on fire using a lighter. After the twirler has finished performing, the flames can be put out through tossing the baton very fast and hard or by placing it in a fire blanket. Baton twirling requires skillful coordination and extraordinary control of the human body. Additionally, it requires a great amount of flexibility in order to properly execute baton dance and gymnastic elements. Choreography for baton twirling is designed to promote expression of the body through dance and movement to create a demonstration of strength, flexibility, physical fitness, beauty, aesthetics and harmony in coordination with the manipulation of the baton. Well that's all for this video. If you like it please like, share and subscribe.